There's proof in the pudding that time changes things. From the way we dress, the style that we create, the TV shows that we watch. You notice cartoons aren't the same anymore. In fact, they're a little bit more graphic. But retract, this is about the poets. I remember in the days of poets reading from the paper. We would refer to them as page poets, that they would flip the pages, flick them onto the floor. But see, now with technology and the cell phone, now they scroll to get to their lines. And then there's the poets that memorize. But I'm here to tell you, whether you memorize it, scroll it, or read from a paper, like I used to say, with or without lines, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that you're delivering words into ears, a message. Things that need to be heard. At the end of the day, we're all relative of one another. I am you, you are me. The only thing that's different is just like Norman Vincent Peale said, it's not what happens to you, but it's what you do with what happens to you. See, we are the true writers. Writers of what goes on outside that door as well as what goes on in the midst of our own space of existence or those whose lives we know. See, we are the voice for the voiceless. Like that newborn baby coming fresh out of the womb and all we know is that they're thinking thoughts, but they can't speak yet. Better yet, we are the voice for that, that woman. That woman that goes into work and she looks like she has it together, all put together 100%. Five to dime, but she goes home. To a man that she fell in love with, but at the same time, he doesn't love her back the same way. He beats her. But you would never know because she wears makeup very well. She has stock in Mary Kay. Or better yet, we write. We write for the little boy that goes to school. He's very eccentric, creative as they can be, but he gets teased and joshed, so he's bullied. See, no matter what type of poet you are, no matter what you do when you get up to the stage, when your name is called from the list, whether you're first, second, third, fifth, sixth, or your last to close up the night, if you have an audience of this many, or better yet, just two or three, always execute with passion. Heart, mind, soul, and love. But at the end of the night, realize whether you read from a page, scroll through your cell phone, or you memorized your words, know that when you leave from the stage, what you spoke was felt. Mm -hmm.